Okay, by this sign, can you try to guess what we are going to review today? After the hurricane that was a year ago, some letters, they just flew away. And this is what the sign we have right now. Something that says Rosen from the far. That's how we can see it. What the resort is, it's a five rating hotel that has a water park with some slides. As I remember, three slides. We'll get to them. We'll just go around. Five complexes with different rooms. The deluxe ones are the cheapest. They start from $200 and they go higher. It depends when you make the reservation. During high peak seasons, sure, the rooms are going to be more expensive. You can get a room for this kind of price, either with one king size bed or with two singles. However, singles are big enough. I'll show you the room later. You don't need to pay for kids for additional breakfast if they are under 11 years old. At least up to two kids, they eat free. So they got two pools. The closest one has the deepest area with five feet deep. Still diving is not allowed because we got a lot of kids. Many people come with families, especially as I understand, about 80% of the residents here are from South Korea. The hotel is very crowded. The day before, when I was making booking, still they didn't have rooms. They had only one room available. So when I arrived, there was one more room they, they showed me. So they're pretty much booked. Right in the center, you can find a bar area with a little cafe where you can get yourself something to eat however kids sometimes they get lazy they don't use this bridge they just go straight in the water so in the evening as I found uh, the water got really dirty on the top you could see some grease floating right across from the from the swimming pool you can find yourself showers and an area where you can rent towels but be careful if you lose them because they're gonna charge you about 900 pesos per towel if you don't return you have to return it every day so keep that in mind and also do not lose your key because for each key you will be charged 150 pesos that's what happened to me you can find yourself a bar you can buy some alcohol and as much as I know, some people, they got lazy. After drinking, they try not to use the bathroom that is right here. They just go right into the water. So keep that in mind. Beside the hotel building with the rooms, you can rent out some villas. But the villas are very expensive. They go $400 and higher. Depends what you choose inside. You can choose... Uh, either with a jacuzzi top or with a your private swimming pool Okay, we're getting closer to the second pool this one one has a, a little stream river that goes all the way around Right in the center, you will find another set of swimming pools. Mostly it's for kids. This is a swimming pool for toddlers. The, uh, another one, it's a cool, I believe, Captain Hook. That's, uh, that's for kids. Here we can find ourselves another bar area. Then also a stage. Sometimes they have performances here like a fire show the one that I missed yesterday so this floating river goes all the way around this island uh, by the way 
before you go to swim. When you get the towels at the same counter, you will need to get a special bracelets that allow you to use the water facility. Right in the back, you can find yourself three slides. This is the biggest one. It just flushes you down. Be careful if you have kids who cannot swim because once it drops you into the water, it's about two meters deep. There is an assistant, however, I do not recommend to use it for kids. And we got two smaller sides on this side. One is the closed one, the green one for older kids. White one can be used by kids. That one is open, so you can see the sky. The green one is all closed. You don't see anything, you just feel that it throws you from one side to another. Okay, this is the end of the floating river. This river brings you to the beach area. Here I found a jellyfish, the one that I've never seen before. A green one, like from a SpongeBob movie. This is the beach area on one side, and it goes all the way to there. On the left you can find another restaurant which looks pretty cool at night when you visit right there on the terrace at night without the sun it's pretty cool to hear the waves to hear live music okay here is another bar area they got a lot of bar area a lot of people who drink this is the the toilet probably the worst one that i found in a five star rating hotel look what condition it is you can check the mirrors. The whole hotel, I can say, it's outdated. You can see the condition of the faucet. It's been clean here, however, I prefer to wear slippers or something, not to walk here with bare feet. You can see that they still have something left from the cleaning. Look at the condition of this door. It's a wooden door. How full was it to install a wooden door on the beach where it's always wet? And you got one cabin. And both sides, you can find yourself showers and several cabins. Uh, I believe shampoo. Shampoo has there or. The whole thing is missing. Okay, they got three cabins. Some places where you can enjoy the rest of the day. The grass, by the way, is really soft here. I prefer to walk on the grass than on the path here because it's a con concrete path and in daytime especially if you walk with your bare, bare feet it gets really hot here you can rent a cart a pedal one it's not electric you have to pedal yourself you can find a giant chess and a mini golf it's not complimentary you have to pay go kart will cost 100 pesos per 15 minutes this is what mini golf looks like. From one hole to all the way there, you go three times per person. You pay 100 pesos, so that's about $2. On the left side, on the first floor, you can find yourself a couple of restaurants. There are a total six restaurants in the area. On the second floor, there's a spa area and a massage and i believe there was a gym all resorts have have gyms but i'm not into gym especially during vacation so i do not check the places 
can I tell you for sure, but I remember on the map it was somewhere here. And we are back to the first swimming pool with a little cafe island in the middle. The Korean restaurant is probably the most expensive one. You can see LA Kalbi, you can get for like almost $40. The cheapest one that you can find here, it's about, let's say, 10, about $13 per dish. You can definitely say by the entrance that it's, it's a Korean restaurant. However, it's closed now because they work probably in the afternoon. This spa area is called Kara, you can find on the second floor. From the second floor of the hotel building you can find a view to the swimming pool, the first one. And also if you move further you can see the second swimming pool. By going this way you can find several conference rooms where some parties, especially Christmas party and wedding parties are taking place. From here, you can see on the second floor, that's the lobby, that's where we're heading. And on the first floor, there's the restaurant, a buffet type, that works from 6 a.m. And has breakfast until 10. By the way, here, this is probably one of the hotels where I find real paintings even in the rooms this is the main hall that they have uh, the main ballroom they have it's called grand ballroom triton this is the biggest of all this is where big parties are taking place they're preparing a stage and they're preparing for a wedding, as I was told today. There's a lobby with a waiting area. Through here you can find a path downstairs to the main restaurant. And this is the main entrance with a big Christmas tree because Christmas is coming. Let's take a look at the main restaurant. This is the main restaurant that is running breakfast right now, but I think, yeah, they're preparing for lunch. So it's closed now for cleaning. Carpet on the floor. There's a carpet flooring everywhere. Hello, right now cleaning is made. It's almost lunch time. Let's check the rooms. Okay, we got the locks with two single beds. One single bed is quite b uh, big enough. You can uh, stay with your kid in the same bed. So we got this room for two adults and two kids because they don't have two doubles. They have two singles, but singles are wide enough to feed uh, an adult and a kid. Uh, this room costs us 11,440 pesos per night uh, but if you uh, do not book you if you just come and pay at the counter you will pay more it's a uh, 14,000 and higher for this room for the same one it can come in with twin bed or with one king just if you have come with a family get twin bed because it's gonna be still wider if you get a king bed we got a balcony on this side Close. I got a city view. Do not pay extra for a view on the ocean because this view is a lot cheaper for the room. And you can also watch how the airplanes, there's an airport over there. Now you can watch how the airplanes go down, how they land and they take off. And you got a view on the casino. 
However, you need to get a room higher than the fifth floor so you can watch the airplanes to land and take off. That's what the room looks like. You can understand that it's outdated. It's about 30 years old, probably. The same carpet that they have. The carpet is always cool. However, you cannot be quite sure how clean it is. So that's why they provide sleepers. Or you can do as I did. I was just walking with my bare feet without shoes. Just before you go to bed, you just wash off your feet and go into the bed, which is more than enough. The air conditioner is placed very well. It's not above the beds. Here where the beds are, it blows right on the corridor, on the, on the hallway. So it's very comfortable for you to sleep if you put about 27, 28 degrees Celsius to sleep at night. If you're with kids, if you, you're alone, you can make it even cooler and to get, go under the blanket. Uh, some of the stuff is outdated as I said, you can see the, air uh, the refrigerator doesn't even close up, you have to push all the way. The cups are good sizes, you can wash them easily. Sorry, it's going to be a little bit noisy because I have to move out. I do not understand this design because all the water in the bathtub, around the bathtub, it collects and it goes all the way to this drain. I don't know why they did that, they could make this thing even higher. So all the water could go right in to the bathtub. Because when you take a shower, you always worry that something, for example, like soap, if you drop over there, it's this area is always, you can see right now, it has water, so it gets really slimy. A very bad design, I think. And also these things, you can find them from probably like 20, 30 years ago. There's a good working area, it's quite spacious. Just when you plug in the fan, don't plug it in 110, otherwise it's gonna be very weak for you. Use the 212 socket. There's a toilet behind. This morning I saw a cockroach passing by. That was my guess. I've seen two cockroaches for two nights, but I was staying one uh, in the restaurant, the other one in the toilet. For the resort itself, I would give about, uh, let's say, three points. It's good enough, but it's good for about a night or two. It's more than enough. Uh, we booked here for three nights, but we were planning to stay for three nights, so the kids would take a lot enough swi swimming. Uh, but after the first night, I realized that kids already saw everything they needed, they tried everything, so we decided to take off. So we cancelled why not why night and stayed only for two. Two nights more than enough if you come here with kids. And for the next time, try another resort. Because there's not much to see. Uh, and also it's uh, because of the price, it's kinda of pricey. It's a five star. Mm -hmm.